In this training video, we will review how to create a new transducer in a 2250 or 2270 sound level meter. The process is the same for all templates on the sound level meter. The first thing we'll do is go to the main menu at the lower left and select transducers from the pop-up menu. In the list are all the transducers that have previously been set up on the meter. We can create a new transducer by clicking on the icon at the top left. We have the option of creating a microphone, accelerometer, or direct input into the 2250 or 2270 sound level meter. In this example, I'll create a new microphone. When I click on the icon, a information box will pop up to tell us that a new transducer will be created in the transducer database. A new transducer will be created at the bottom of the list. By default, it'll be a 4189. By clicking on the plus icon, we can examine and change any of the transducer properties. If the microphone we're adding is not a 4189, we can click on the drop down menu for the microphone types. Here we can select the microphone type that we're adding. If the microphone type is not already in the drop down list, we can select the unknown type at the bottom. When we select the unknown type, notice that we can now change any of the other properties. First, you may want to change the name so that it reflects the microphone type that you're adding. In this example, I'm adding a 4188 microphone. I'll also add the serial number of this particular 4188. Next, we'll want to make sure that the nominal sensitivity entered matches the appropriate nominal sensitivity for the microphone type. 4188s have a nominal sensitivity of 31.6 millivolts per pascal, so that's what I'll enter under the nominal sensitivity. 4188s are pre-polarized, so I'll leave the polarization voltage set to no. The microphone is a free field type, so I'll leave that set to yes, and I'll enter the capacitance information from the calibration chart. If we're using the rear socket, we'll need to set CCLD to yes, so that we can power the preamp from the rear socket. If we're using the top socket and the ZC0032 preamp, we can leave CCLD set to no. Once we're done with the properties of the transducer, you may notice that the name in the list will reflect the name that we've entered, as well as its serial number. We can now use our new transducer. If we go to the main menu at the lower left and select Setup, we can select under the Input section what transducer we would like to use under the Transducer drop-down menu. By default, the new transducer will be selected already. It's important to calibrate our transducers before we make a measurement. In another training video, we'll review how to calibrate a microphone or an accelerometer with a 2250 or 2270 sound level meter.